Hello, this is Palico Patch, and welcome back to more of RimWorld. And usually, when I start off an episode, I like to show the colonists just going around, doing their own little things, getting on with their jobs. But I'm paused today because we have a raid. We have a raid. It's the kangaroos. It's our good old neighbours, the kangaroos. And, well, what are they doing? They've arrived, and they're attacking immediately. Thankfully, everybody is in bed, bar from Sparkles. She's still getting used to the, the colony, you know, feeling her way around, finding the best nooks and crackies to, to stash all the stuff that she has. And uh, she's currently coming back to the bed. But they are all in the, the right area, so that's nothing to worry about, really. Uh, we've got a bulk goods trader, which we're just going to forget about for the time being, although we do have a fair few bits in there to sell. I don't think we have many blocks, though. No, we've got a bit of steel, but obviously we're needing the steel. Uh, we are almost up to enough plus steel. We only need under 100 now uh, before we can start building the ship and get. We we'll have to have a hell of a mining session, though, I think. And uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're looking okay. We're looking okay. Uh, I think we're going to get sparkles onto the uh, the mortar, although she wasn't the best at it last time. She did manage to blow up our power line. Good thing we had two bits of uh, power coming in off that one generator, or else we would have been scuppered. But, well, I'm, I'm just delaying, really. I'm delaying the inevitable. So, uh, before I unpause it, because they're all in the right place, let's just... Yes, okay, you keep bouncing around. Let's just have a quick look at how big this raid is. It's okay. It's okay. So, we have Steven, who's got a triple rocket launcher. We have McCoy, who has Molotovs. We have a pistol with Ryan. Brad has an, uh, a sniper rifle. It's... Oh, it's a screw. I thought it was a shotgun. Okay. Uh, we got uh, <laughs> Robert, who has a knife. And anyone underneath him? No. Where's Dark, then? There's Dark Eye. Uh, he has a survival rifle. We have Walter with a charge rifle. And Fernando with with a uh, the frag grenades. Yes. So, we're, we're actually, we're okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I got a bit emotional there. We're okay. Uh, right, so it's uh, they're coming in from the south. Uh, to be honest with you, it's probably the, the worst protected area, the south. And I'm a little bit worried about this section here where I can put colonists there, but obviously if things go terribly, terribly wrong, it's a, a run in either direction. But, 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 before I unpause it, let's just select all our colonists, get them up and running, and we're going to have... We're going to have uh, Soto is my sniper. She can come on to the end. Uh, then we'll have Kelvin, who's our charge rifle. He can go in the middle. We've got good faith in Kelvin. Uh, Red is our clerk. She can go there. In fact, they're going to aim. Hang on, hang on. So Soto, you go to there. Kelvin... You go there, because they're going to aim for the tourists, turrets first, I believe. Uh, Red, you come into the corner. Debbie, you've got a survivor rifle. You can go on that end. Booker, you've got a pistol. You can go there. Sparkles, you're on the mortar. Is that everyone? Seemed very quick. Very quick. Okay, right. Anyway, anyway. Oh, God. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Here we go. Right. So, let's do this. So they are all fanning out. They're leaving the squirrels to sleep and they are heading straight up, it would appear. My guys are moving into... Oh, I forgot about Victor. Victor, Victor, Victor. What do you got? You got a survival rifle too. Uh... Yes. Booker. You join Kelvin. Victor. You move there. I think that's the best bet. Thing is, as soon as I get too close, I'm going to have to pull Sparkles off. So as long as Sparkles can fire that soon. Soon, Sparkles. Quickly, Sparkles. Fire it. God damn it, woman. Holy! What the hell was that? Uh, who has... Who did, that's just taken out my turret. Oh, my life. Okay, so who has that? They need to go down. Pistol with it. Where the hell did that come from? That had quite a range on it. Is that Stephen? Watching for targets. What have you... Oh, we've got nothing now. 
Was it a, a one use thing? Was, did we get off lightly there? Where's everyone else? Was it Brad? I think... I think that was a one-off thing. I think that was a one-off thing. Okay. Uh, right, so... Oh, jeez. Alright, we'll just keep it going for the time being. Sparkles are getting too close. You need to come here. You, Red, need to move back there. Right, so that's one down. Uh, Fernanda's down. Uh, we're going to need to protect our left side more. So, Booker, you've got the pistol. Kelvin, you've got the charge. So, Kelvin, Soto. <laughs> Sorry, Sparkles, you move to there. Red, Soto, you move out a little. Kelvin, you go to there. Booker, you come this side. Sparkles, are you, are you even hitting Stephen? Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Okay, right. you, you move to there. Oh, they're fleeing. Okay, does that mean we get another one? We took another one out there. I think we got an okay there. Uh, right, so sparkles. You can. You don't put out fires, do you? You are rubbish. Uh, okay, so. Um, Booker's got the pistol. You can be released. Red. You can be released, but you will go home. Kelvin will be released too. Soto. You're up, and you two are up too. Let's uh, see if we can take anyone else out on the way. Come on, we've got to be able to chase one of them down, surely. That was actually a pretty... Nope. Okay, they're going too quick. Uh, they're gone. Okay, don't worry about it. Uh, that was pretty lame, actually, from the kangaroos. I don't know if they're getting weaker. We've just killed so many of them, they just can't keep up anymore. But that went very well. Well, as well as can be as expected, I suppose. Uh, we'll take those, we'll take those... Just that one. That, that. Is that really free? Yep. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. As I said, I expected a lot worse. We've had a lot worse in the past. Maybe Randy was just feeling uh, sorry for me. Let's speed this up. So, Red is uh, healing nicely. These will, will be repaired in a second. We're going to strip the two bodies down. We're still deconstructing that. Let's get their light on so they don't get too upset. Let's have a quick look. I don't think I need anyone else, but it's worth having a gander. You never know. So, Stephen's okay. He's a lazy, he's a broader, and he's got a chemical fascination. He can go. Next pirate merchant we come across. Combat supplier. Uh, let's just pause that a second. Uh, we've got Fernanda, who is... Uh, well, not missing any limbs or anything, which is a, a good sign, I suppose. Um, and, wow. Incapable of skilled labour, scary and haulings. You are completely useless. Likes the animals. Yeah, okay. You, you guys can go. That's fine. Um, Debbie, I know you're upset, but can you just come and have a look at the... Oh, we'll do book goods first. We might be able to buy some plus steel. Uh, marble we'll get rid of. 55. Steel we'll keep in cloth. No point keeping just 10 cloth, I suppose. Might as well get rid of those. And uh, that's about it. That is about it. Don't need to buy anything else. Might be worth actually... Um, so that's 61. Oh, well, I suppose I can grab a couple. Three. <laughs> okay, we'll take three plus deal for that. Uh, they need to be hauled up, and they'll be dumped, supposedly. 
Uh, Victor has collapsed due to extreme exhaustion. Where are you, Victor? You're not drafted. Okay, well, uh, just sleep it off. That's fine. So, yes, uh, successful raid. Uh, we have finished deconstructing all this. This will be picked up soon, I presume. Uh, combat supplier. I suppose we should really get the combat supplier when she wake when uh, Debbie wakes up. Fernanda's fully healed. Okay. Awesome. Even well, maybe not awesome, but she is of she is of no use to us. She needs to go. Right, Debbie, 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 Debbie. Bought goods trader. Just done that one. Uh, combat supplier. We should have a bit to sell. So we have uh, a marble club which can go. The shivs can go, definitely. Uh, and the club can go. Club, club, club. Artillery shell. Uh, yeah. Um, hasn't been too success uh, successful, really, has it? So uh, that might as well go. It's a bit of extra cash. And I think I will also deconstruct that and get the steel off it. Because it's, it's of no use. It's of no use. Uh, these will be picked up. I think they're all in terrible condition. And we'll have to wait for the uh, more cotton to come in, I think. How are we doing for cotton? Uh, we've, well, we've just sold a bit of cotton. Got some, uh, got some iguana skin. Why couldn't we sell that before? Exotic goods? Would, would that be classed as exotic goods? Possibly. Possibly. Someone needs to get rid of his body. Victor? No. No, no. Kelvin. If you would, please. So, yeah, we're basically just going about getting what we can from where we can now. Steel is of priority. Uh, they're crafting granite blocks again, which is awesome. No, oh, they were crafting granite blocks. Victor's playing horseshoes. Victor should go to bed. He's very tired. Very tired. Uh, I need to keep an eye on these animals. Oh, and uh, we need to make, get rid of this priority because we need to put our turret back up. I don't know if to put an extra turret up down there, just in case that happens again. I suppose, though, it's um, maybe I should have set this around here instead, made it a little bit wider. Yeah, it's all on the threshold, really. But it's, it's doing okay. Oh, 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 oh. Are they... Are they fighting each other? Watching for targets. Gone berserk. Steven... Yeah, yeah they're fighting each other. I don't understand that. They're, I thought they were both from the kangaroos. They are. That's it. Just put them to sleep. She'll, she'll calm down. She'll calm down. Uh, so we've got some more blocks being made. Debbie isn't happy again as normal. Oh, I well, we missed it. Okay. Well, next time there's a bulk uh, goods trader, we should be okay. We, we should have plenty to sell. Plenty to sell. Do I deconstruct any more? Have they picked all that sandstone yet? Yeah, well, they will. They will eventually. Wow, well, they're starting to lose cloves. We... Uh, should have some cl a cloth now, surely. No, how long does this take? Well, a long time, supposedly. We won't have to buy some cloth. They've run out of clothes, which isn't good. Is it affecting them, though? Is it affecting them? Uh, prisoner was sold. We've still got nine days left of that. Lax Barnet Park. Yes, Kelvin. We know, we know. Uh, they're not doing too bad. We're getting plenty of medicine now. We could probably sell some medis medicine. That might go for a decent amount. Right, that's clear. Right, so. Uh, Fernanda's fully healed. Awesome. So we want sort of... Around here-ish, was it? That's a good spot. I like that. So we have 
772 on the plastic, almost 3,000 on the steel. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stuff's going on. Okay, so we have um, a visitor. An exiled researcher from Fisherman's Tree is visiting the colony. That's fine. Uh, Booker has broken. Awesome. And we have a pirate ship. Well, pirate merchant in a trade ship. Uh, well, I'd like to get rid of these two. I'd like the cash. But that means that this prisoner of soul doodah is going to get very high. Very high. Uh, do I just keep hold of them? Uh, we're not talking to these guys at the moment, are we? So let's, uh, let's just give them a bit of friendly chat. And then we'll sell you when that debuff disappears. Because you're living okay with the debuffs at the moment. Uh, we've got some more cargo pods, which are... What? Oh, what's that? Chocolate! Who doesn't like chocolate? Awesome, that should cheer him up, he says. As long as we don't get too close to the boomalopes. So, as long as we don't have anyone... Idle. Everyone should be busy, busy. Oh, they've collected all the sandstone. That's good. That's going up. Where are you going? Oh, give him a bit of chat. Bit of chit chat. Keep him happy. Should we start bringing some more of these blocks? How, how are the blocks doing? Yeah, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We haven't had a ship part for ages. That worries me. That worries me. I think the next one could be pretty bad as well. Pretty, pretty bad. Let's get rid of some more blocks. Let's grab those next. And then I think once we get rid of these, those all in the vicinity of, uh, well, I suppose these should go as well. Do you want to give them anything? We don't have to give them for cover. We should really look at mining some more. That's a pretty good distance. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, so really, as I said before, we're, we're on the rundown to, to making the, the ship parts now and uh, getting out of here, but I don't really want to be making the actual physical... Oh, gun. I don't want to be actually physically making the ship parts. That'd be bookers, won't it? Get your pistol. Uh, I don't really want to be making the ship parts and, until I've got all the bits ready and then they can be built up pretty quick and, and we can get out of here. It's just something else for pirates or bad things in general to aim at or to to get. And because we're pretty tight on the, on the plasteel, and I don't want to be spending any more money on plasteel than I actually or absolutely have to, obviously I don't want to put them into any sort of danger. I think, I think that makes enough sense there. That's a pretty... Pretty reasonable to suggest. But yeah, I don't I think we're done as far as interesting stuff on the uh, on the maps concerned. We've got some uh, oh cargo pods. Cargo pods, what have we got? Oh that's uh, unusual. P falling through something which has a roof on it. Uh meat. Awesome. How's that meat doing? We've got plenty of potatoes. Uh, we've got some more meat. We could probably get his Victor to our hunter. Victor is still our hunter. We could probably get Victor to go and kill some animals, I suppose. We'd get some uh, skins as well, which wouldn't go amiss. Where are the animals? Oh, and a combat supply. Ooh. Okie dokie. We could definitely use him. Debbie, to the combat supplier, please. Uh, so... Yeah, we'll get rid of those with a little bit of a dollar. Uh, not worried about the molotovs or the frags. The knife can disappear. That'll be a bit more. Yeah, a bit a bit more plasteel. Not a lot, not a lot. Um, I think they've collected all the steel around which they've dug up. So we should probably get on to getting some more steel mined. We need so much steel, it's ridiculous. It seems silly, actually, to take on more people now because of that.
But as I said, my biggest fear is that they're going to be caught short out here mining and there's going to be a raid in the area. And then that's it. It's, you know, you lose a person. Usually it's a good person because that's how the game plays out. And you're scuppered. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. They're picking these blocks pretty quick. Have we had those? Oh, it's a new one. What have we got now? Elk hide. Nice. Oh, and another book goods trader. Debbie, you are busy. You are busy. You awake? You are. All right, okay. Um, book goods trader, if you would, please. Right, so. Marble blocks. We'll get rid of those. Sandstone can go. Granite can go. It's easy enough to make that up. And that gives us about... 750 ish ish so uh let's just pull this a little bit 271 we're aiming for and uh, five off okay another 38 we've got to, we've got to be getting close now surely got to be getting close who's upset now debbie jeez the only female i've ever known to get upset about talking Right, so we have a bit more steel down there. How are they doing on these bits? Book is working hard, finding more steel, which is awesome. Uh, we've got 810. Wow, we're not far off at all. Oh, what should we do? Should, I, do, should we deconstru deconstruct some more blocks and sell those next time? There's uh, chunks, granite chunks. There's a fair few granite chunks. There's a load of marble chunks. And... Oh. There's only a little bit of slag left. Slag. Uh, I, yeah. We, they're okay. They're okay. I think we'll deconstruct it. It's simpler that way because when you deconstruct something, it's already in blocks. So you can just set it straight away. Uh, how close are they to finishing with their... Oh! Oh, there we go. Uh, prisoner was sold. Still five days. Oh, okay, okay, we can live with that. I think we'll end the episode there. Everything's going very well. That raid was a bit puny. Expected it to be a bit harder than that, but never mind. We won't moan about that. That's a good thing, generally. That's a good thing. So, thanks for watching, guys. As always, a like is appreciated. And I shall catch you on the next one. Take it easy. Wait.